in the first drill, a mechanized company advanced towards enemy positions. The Marines are on the offensive, supported by two Ukrainian and two American infantry fighting vehicles. Thank you for coming out. Uh, what you're about to witness is a mechanized bilateral attack with Ukrainian Marines and U.S. Marines. What we're doing is showing our interoperability, our partnership and our lethality. For the first time at the Sea Breeze exercises, the American side brought a company with combat experience in Afghanistan and Iraq. In their turn, the Ukrainian military shared the experience they've gained while fighting Russia's war in the Donbass. Equipment is utilized by each host nation or each partner nation, and it is the tactics and procedures that we are working to become interoperable. Today was an amazing demonstration of interoperability in a complex maneuver and live fire environment, irrelevant of the equipment utilized by each nation. The advancement of the mechanized company is backed up by snipers and artillery fire. These are firing positions of the joint Ukraine-U.S. unit, which include open firing positions with 60 millimeter mortars of the United States, open firing positions with 82 millimeter mortars of Ukraine, and covered firing positions with 2S1 artillery systems. Meanwhile, a cutting-edge counter-battery radar system is used to spot the enemy. It can detect people up to five kilometers away and has already proven its worth on the front line in eastern Ukraine. The main advantage of the machine is that the image from the camera and the site can be transmitted within 3.5 kilometers to the command post and I can watch the battlefield online and accordingly the fire capability of the complex it is able to target it and strike it. The exercise also involved aviation. The enemy never sends all of its units into battle. There's always a reserve that should strike in the most inopportune moment from the most inconvenient direction. That's why we decided to use the Moldova-Ukraine backup company with helicopters so that it's ready to react any moment. Altogether, 800 military personnel from Georgia, Moldova, the United States and Ukraine took part in the land, were involved in the land part of the Sea Breeze 2019. Yulia Krychkova, UATV.